Welcome back to The Local Show, a service of Safe Harbor Wills and Trusts and Geddes Federal Savings and Loan. The Local Show, featuring conversations with business owners, employees, and local business leaders about their successes, challenges, and reasons for doing business right here in Central New York. The Local Show, locally produced by Zoe Advertising. Now, here are your hosts, Tom and Steve. We're back into it and glad you joined us right here on The Local Show. Thank you for spending quality weekend time with us. I know you're probably with a lot of family. Maybe you're all gathered around the radio. I'm still eating my sandwich from the Brady Market, Tom. (laughs) It's wonderful. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, good food over there. We have become, it's a lot of times on Mondays. I don't know why on Mondays. Yes. You tend to work remote on Mondays, but Uh on Mondays we'll go over there. I don't know what it oh, is. Oh, you go over well, for, for you know, like anybody lunch. want to go to the Brady Market for lunch, <laughs> and they always have different things Mondays, and it's it's amazing and it's it's affordable and it's tasty. So, you know, you sure. can support that ministry over By there. Going the old low gyms, yeah. go there and buy lunch, but check the store out while you're there. Um, I I bought a roast there last week. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we cooked it up. It was delicious, and it was probably a third less or half the price of what it would have been at one of the big stores. Right now, now more than ever. Now you know, more check, than ever. Right. Check it out. Save Food is little, good. Save a little money and support a great cause. Absolutely. There you go. Right now, it's our pleasure to talk with David Lewis. David Lewis is the owner of Interstate Batteries of Central New York. How are you doing there, David? I'm great today. Thanks, guys. What? Where did you come from, David? Are you a Syracuse native by any chance? Or? I am not. I'm a little bit south of here from. Norwich, New York oh, yeah. is where I'm from originally. I spent a little time up in Norwich. Yeah. You can't get there from here. There's like not a path. <laughs> There's really. not an you easy know, way, right? The, well, there's, it's easy way if you've been that <laughs> way. They still have <laughs> that cell tower they tried to make look like a tree that still looks like a cell tower made to look like a tree. I don't know if that's in Norway. Yeah, you cut across. Norway, if you go down really? by like Bainbridge, if you cut across the other oh, way. Oh, okay. To the mountains, you see this thing sticking up. You're like, that Interesting. stupid. <laughs> Where is Norwich near, by the way? Is that like uh, Cooperstown-ish? No, no, it's dead center of Shenango County. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's the only, I guess, it's the county seat. Uh, for Shenango County, so well, you got out. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. So, uh, did you go to college for anything I, particular? I, actually, no? I did not go to college. Okay. Uh, I grew up in my dad's uh, business. He he was an interstate do? batteries distributor. As no well. kidding. Okay, so this um, is a long time you've been doing this. So uh, he started when he was ten years old. So you were nope. battery college for the last yeah, lot of years. Right. That's That's a, yeah, you might say. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm still there. Actually, well, it changes, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, well, it is changing a lot these days. Yeah. So. so so it's a battery company. I, I don't know that uh, many people think of um, batteries as being a whole career. You know, it's like how, how many different varieties of batteries and well, all that. Side, there, you know. there, there's lots of lots of different stuff, right? Yeah. We, what Interstate is known for is more, you know, automotive commercial. That's what you I know. Think. Sure, yeah. You, know, you pull in the local service station, right, and and have them install a battery for you and right they have an interstate battery sitting on the shelf yeah, right. tom there's the calendar right there yeah Insta, that's that's kyle bush who is annoying but they sponsor a car in nascar i mean they this is this is a real deal this yeah. Is, well this yeah is, interstate you know. i've always equated you know i was kind of a motorhead when i was a kid and i did a lot of racing uh, yep. drag racing yep. up at esther drag strip and everything so you know being a car guy you know i always think of interstate batteries as being the taj mahal of batteries well uh so i think so being I've been around it for a long time, Interstate uh, became the number one battery and around, I think, don't quote me on this, around 1984. Yeah, yeah. Um, before that, it was Die Hard. Was the, oh, remember yes, that? Yeah, Die, Die Hard. Die Hard. Right. probably shouldn't say the competition's no, in an interview, no, right? But, no. Uh, Get those at Sears. What's yep, Sears? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, um, and uh, so th- I think back then it was, we had to get to like six or seven million units a year to okay. um to top die hard right. and uh last year interstate did 19 million batteries in, in so why 12 months. why interstate why does i mean th- people go oh i need a battery they go to the walmart or, right, or someplace yeah. and how does uh yeah what's you know, the difference how does a premium great question yeah. how does a premium battery stay in that space so what's yeah. the difference tom S- so what it's interesting you you say that because us interstate batteries we believe that that there is a difference and um so you talked about food a minute ago sure and uh we th- we like to maybe compare ourselves to the baker okay you know and so your wife's making a fresh dish of pasta tonight that would so be you, me but go ahead oh well <laughs> <laughs> well your wife's gonna stop and get a fresh loaf of italian bread that would be me too home. okay so, you're a loaf of so um 
but you, you want a fresh loaf of Italian bread, right? right. I mean, you don't want that day old uh, Italian bread with your pasta at night. So uh, batteries, same thing. Obviously, it's not day old, but it can be over time that that battery has been sitting on a shelf. It's it's sulfating because it's setting in a discharge state. It's not been taken care of and boosted. And so being we are the battery guy, that's all we do. Uh, we're not uh, selling belts and hoses and starters and alternators and all of those things. Yes. We are focused strictly on batteries. And so, um, you know, we're constantly boosting batteries and making sure they're kept 100% in charge. Where is, well, where is your physical yeah. place? In, we're in, town. we're uh, in the Eastwood area at okay. 393 North Collingwood Ave. Where's that near? Um, you know, some so New Court Ave, between James Street and New Court Avenue. Okay. In the yeah. New, New Court Ave commercial area. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. And so so people can come and, and see the variety of batteries you have. Like you said, you know, I, I've always associated interstate with car batteries or truck mm -hmm. batteries. But um, you brought in some triple A's and some double A's. I, I didn't know they made those. Yeah, so Interstate, uh, a bunch of years ago, uh, they call it uh, Interstate All Battery Center. Mm -hmm. And so I first was an Interstate Batteries distributor, which is the guy that's, you see the truck running up and down the road. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. And we're going to the garages and service stations and filling their racks and all of that. And Interstate uh, decided to be a little more diverse. And so they also have what we call an Interstate All Battery franchise. And so I also am a franchisee. And so I can get all the small batteries for from alkalines to, you know, a defibrillator battery to, uh, you know, yeah. your UPS battery for your backup computer. So battery. when I go to no offense to Walmart, but I go to Walmart, I don't <clears throat> I'm not believing, Tom, that the person behind the counter knows diddly squat. Right. And, you're, and I go, ah, uh, the battery might, my, my, and I used to buy them for your lawnmower. Yes. Lawnmower. <laughs> Tom's got my old yes. rider on, right? Yeah. And it would, it seemed like the battery would last a year, no matter what I did. And I'm like, the battery should last well, one. You, and I you tried. You never trickle charged it. Or, I, you know, you uh, no, I did it. actually. Did you try, try it? You know, yeah. I tried it and it just didn't seem, I wasn't getting good advice. I, I happen to believe I wasn't getting good, <laughs> good advice, advice. Yeah. Because I'm asking, how should I do this? Well, yeah. you can put it on it. And, and it never seemed to connect. Um, it just never seemed to connect. Well, so we, we have a lot of uh, people that walk in our door. And so we like to think of ourselves as the battery the experts. guy, yeah, the experts. Yeah, right. uh, you know, I, I was actually trying to think uh, a while back how many years of experience are, are within my organization. And we're, we're probably around 150 years of battery experience. That's wow. between Tom and I and advertising, it, 75 yeah, years apiece, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> At least, yeah. So, uh, you know, over that time, right, you can yeah. imagine that you've run into just about every- Every scenario. Every scenario Multiple times. You, you know, so the lawnmower that, hey, every year I'm changing my lawnmower mm -hmm. battery. Well, okay, so where are you getting your lawnmower battery? What are you doing with it? What should season? someone do? Let's say they're that right now. They had a lawnmower battery. They're put it away for the winter. What should they do so that thing isn't dead as a doornail um, come April 1st? So uh, we, we recommend battery uh, maintainer or tender. tender. But I would recommend a good quality one. They are not all created equally, mm -hmm. um, just like the batteries are not all created. Can you help equally. people with that? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah we can. We can get fix an interstate them up with battery. That. That's interstate the first battery. Thing. <laughs> we can fix you up with a battery maintainer or tender. We have, yeah. have a two brands that we trust very well. Um, mm -hmm. Either battery tender brand, which is by Deltran, or by Noco. Um, both of those we've had extremely good luck with. Are you running any particular sales on batteries throughout the holidays or? So here's here's the thing with sales. So we, we do offer some discounting, um, but what we are is we're, we're more of a wholesaler okay. really than yeah. we are a retail. We do a lot of retail, but um, we, you know, our business has really been built on the local garage and service station, marinas, wheelchair oh, wow. outfits, right, right. people like that that, yeah. Um, have trusted us to supply them with their batteries. And so those people um, at these garage and service stations, um, we mm -hmm. sell them their product. And so um, uh, we obviously don't want to necessarily compete with them either, right? right? right. right. They're, gotcha. they're important to us. 
Right. Understood. All right. Well, that's good. You're the battery guy right there, David Lewis. If you have any questions, folks, uh, SyracuseBatteries.com. SyracuseBatteries.com. Or if you want to go over there and buy in bulk and get ready for the holidays and all those electronic things. It's uh, all there. Get it. Get it all over there. Thank you so much, David. And you have a great rest of the day. Okay. Thank you. All right. Michael Johnson's coming up next. Owner of Pro Snow Removal. Just in time for the uh, oh, <laughs> snowfalls, <no>. right? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Right here on the local show on 570 WSYR.